Hello everyone, this is uh, Professor Brian Silva and today we're going to be discussing the um, Dropbox and how it works. Basically as a college professor um, I would often carry a flash drive or a pen drive to the classroom. Um, oftentimes this uh, USB drive uh, would contain PowerPoint presentations, documents and other lesson plans uh, such as learning objectives, quizzes or exams, study guides, etc. Uh, most of the time, the uh, USB drive uh, that I was carrying was reliable and it served its purpose. Uh, but now, fast forward to the future, and I have now um, replaced my USB uh, flash drive uh, or pen drive with Dropbox. So, uh, what is Dropbox? Uh, well, simply put, it's a uh, free program that allows you to store all of your documents uh, on the cloud. Uh, this cloud can be accessed from any computer with uh, an internet connection. Now, uh, I'm no longer carrying uh, a USB flash drive or pen storage. Instead, um, I log in to my Dropbox account and locate all of my files to present to my class students. So. Dropbox gives you free uh, two gigabytes of storage. Um, Dropbox also syncs to my laptop computer, which means that all the documents are also living in the cloud, and I have those same documents in my computer, and they're always up to date. Um, I can uh, easily access any file and update it straight from my Dropbox account. As you can see from uh, your screen, I uh, uh, organize my files into folders uh, to keep me organized. Uh, in the administration of Justice program where I teach, I often use PowerPoint during my class lectures. So Dropbox allows me to access and download any PowerPoint uh, file straight to my classroom computer. Uh, if I choose to do so, I can also open the file and edit it uh, and I uh, resubmit it all, saving it directly to uh, Dropbox. Files in uh, Dropbox can be shared with others. Uh, this is very important when you consider large files. Additionally, the file shared on Dropbox is always going to be the latest version of that document, so you don't have to waste a lot of time searching for uh, the last document version that you updated because the one in Dropbox will always be the most current one. Once uh, Dropbox is loaded to a personal computer, uh, it allows users to save the documents straight into Dropbox. So one of the features when you go to save it, um, you know, it will show up Dropbox, desktop, etc. This feature also allows all of the Dropbox folders saved to your personal computer to be shown on your Dropbox account. Uh, photos can also be uploaded into Dropbox and I often use these photos when I build uh, PowerPoint presentations for my class lectures. If I'm working on projects uh, with other instructors um, I can set up and share documents with group participants by copying the public link I can put it into an email as an attachment um, any changes to that document by group members is automatically saved to, into uh, Dropbox. Again, Dropbox always saves the most current version of that document. In terms of security, uh, by using Dropbox, I am always backing up my documents automatically. So the, there's no fear that uh, your computer will crash and you will lose the uh, document that you've been working uh, on for so long. So again, I recommend that uh, you do this um, as part of your class presentations as it was, will assist you minimizing uh, problems that can arise from faulty uh, flash drives or pen drives. And uh, this concludes uh, my presentation on Dropbox. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to uh, email me or call with any questions.